Hey, Horace, another round for everybody. Yeah! Gosh, Peter, you're really being generous with your money. Hey, what's the point of being rich if you can't share it with your pals, huh? Okay, wait, I, I got one. Who would you rather do? Susan Boyle or a sex doll that's been passed around the fraternity? Well, have they been cleaning the doll? Please, these guys are betas. They're total animals. Hey, I got one, Peter. What would you rather do? Tread water where you are right now or increase your net worth five-fold within the next 18 months? Huh? What, what, I, what are you talking about? Well, my friend Marty is a whiz with chemistry, and he says he's come up with a new penis enlargement pill, and if we can bankroll him $100,000 in startup money, he'll triple our investment in a year. Well, uh... Gee, I, I, I don't, uh... Peter, I've taken the liberty of mocking up some sales projections. Wow, that's pretty good. And this would be our net profits. Yikes. You know, Peter, uh, Bonnie's birthday is coming up, and I'll be gall darned if I didn't go ahead and promise her that Stevie Nicks would come to our house and sing three songs to her. Boy, <laughs> do I got a big mouth, huh? Hey, yeah, if you're gonna open your mouth with the missus, stick to kisses, eh? <laughs> <laughs> What neat humor! What neat humor! Yeah, so what do you say, Peter? Can you help us out? Of course I can, you dope. We're pals, right? There you go. Hey, Horace, give us three shots of your best bourbon. And have that Russian waiter I like bring it over. La 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 Boy, you wouldn't guess from that smile that all his kids were stillborn, huh? All right, well, thanks again, Peter. I gotta head out. I told my mother I'd visit her in the hospital. Yeah, and I gotta work. I'm flying a leg to Minneapolis tonight. Oh, yeah, I, I, I understand. You, you got other things to do. I, I just wrote you guys a couple of checks. But no, you, you, you do your things. What? No, I mean, I, I'm just saying. I, I thought friends hang out, do things with each other. You know, especially when one friend gives the other friends a whole bunch of money. Oh, well. Guess I could stick around. Yeah, and I, I guess the co-pilot can fly the plane. She's a woman, and passengers are usually okay with that. I once saw a deodorant commercial that had a woman pilot. That's more like it. From now on, we're all going to do whatever I want to do, because I'm the one with the dough. Okay, I guess that's fair. Good, because what I want to do is stay here, get drunk, and watch TV. We now return to Michael McDonald during allergy season. <gasps> <gasps> Hey, Peter, you wanted me to watch the entire first season of True Blood and come show you where there was boob? That's right. I don't want to see any actual True Blood. Just boob. Yeah, well, I found some. No! Anna Paquin boob does not count as real boob. That's like looking at a 12-year-old boy. Jeez, you, you should know that, Joe. You should definitely know that. Sorry, Peter. Sorry doesn't show me nipples worth seeing. And as for you, Anna, you're dreadful, and so is the program. I didn't write it. Yeah, but you know the people who do. That Alan Ball, you know him, right? Yeah. How come everything he writes is so dreary? I don't know. Tell him to cheer up. Things ain't so bad. This is a weird episode. Okay, Quagmire, I want you to take the first bite out of this fudge pop. Because that first bite is the one that really hurts. Well, okay. Mm. Ah! 